Hello guys, my name is Luca from Audio Tribe YouTube channel and in this video I will make a comparison video between three soundbars. First is the JBL Bar 2.1 that cost $250. The second one is the LG SJ2 that cost around $75 to $80 depending the, the store that you find it. And third is the Philips b5305 soundbar this was a uh, hundred dollars sharp so first let's make an unboxing a quick unboxing of the philips soundbar because i just buy this uh, soundbar because i think if we have philips we have jbl we have lg it is very good and I want to see all the specs So that was the unboxing and this is the Philips B5305 soundbar. So at the first look we can definitely say that all of these soundbars are 2.1. So this is the JBL bar 2.1, this is the Philips B5305 and this is the LG SJ2. All three 2.1 yes 2.1 channel so first of all we can definitely say that the JBL bar 2.1 main unit of the soundbar it's the most heaviest from all of these three and as you can see is the biggest it has the longest length second we will see that the Philips sound main unit of the soundbar is a little bit taller but uh, it looks very good i like it very much this is how they look i think the philips in my opinion it is the the most beautiful one and second and third the lg sj2 it is the smallest and uh, it is the cheapest one so let's go to the to the remote controls this is the jbl bar 2.1 as you can see it has only the essential things and it is very easy to use it very easy best ergonomic second is the philips remember this is the philips b 5305 soundbar it's almost similar with a couple of uh, functions more and the, the the one in the middle is the LG SJ2 remote with the most buttons on all three but this I feel in the hand that it is more premium as you can see the material it is more more nicer than this two and it's just like the main unit of the soundbar so JBL Philips and LG now let's go to the subwoofers so first of all let's see the JBL bar 2.1 subwoofer as you can see this is the biggest from all these three soundbars that delivers 200 watts second is the LG SJ2 uh, soundbar subwoofer so this is the subwoofer it has a 5 inch woofer and produces 
100 watts. So this produces 100 watts. The JBL produces 200 watts, and the uh, the smallest, the smallest. Remember, this has this cloth. I don't like this cloth because if you have a kitty, uh, you if you have a cat, it can scratch. The dust will uh, we will be on the on the top part. I don't like this. The JBL is the most uh, premium and modern, as you can see. And this is the Philips. It has a 4.5 woofer. It is the the smallest from all three, and it releases only 40 watts. So the Philips 40 watts, the LG 100 watts, and the JBL Bar 2.1 subwoofer 200 watts. So it is the most powerful one. Mm. Now let's talk about the power. The JBL Bar 2.1 releases 300 watts and believe me they are very real the power fill the room and it sounds very good the the mids the highs the lows sounds very good the second one is the smallest this is the lg sj2 that has 160 watts so the sj2 it has half of half as much power than, uh, than the JBL, so 300, 160 watts. The manuate produces 60 watts, and the JBL produces 100 watts. While the Philips, even though it is almost the biggest, it produces 70 watts of power through the manuate of the soundbar and through the subwoofer. So the Philips has only 30 watts of power in the menu of the soundbar and now i want to show you the ports so the first one is the jbl bar 2.1 as you can see it has two hdmi that has uh, inclusive the ar connection the second is the optical and you have here uh, the usb that is only for service mode of course all three these speakers have bluetooth connection the second is the Philips that has HDMI arc, aux in and optical. So this has only one HDMI, but has the aux in the jack that you can use to connect it via the, the TV. And the third one doesn't have HDMI, but it has a jack and optical in. So all three have optical connection to the TV but only two of them have hdmi connection the the philips and the jbl in my opinion having hdmi connection through earc is the best connection that you can use uh, when you connect to a tv because you can first turn on turn off and uh, turn the view the volume of the sound up or down just with the tv remote so it doesn't need a second remote only the the lg sj2 doesn't have hdmi and you, you you need to connect it to the to the tv via optical input another big advantage that the jbl bar 2.1 has and the philips and lg soundbar doesn't have is that it has as you can see here it has a big led display when you can see the volume you can see the if it is connected via hdmi to the tv to the phone and it is very easy to use it because as you can see the philips it only has a led that blinks green red when you change something but you don't know what is the state of the connection what high how high is the volume now at the end of this video i will let you with the sound test
is very clear that with the JBL part 2.1 soundbar you will have problems with your neighbor because the sound is very powerful remember it has 300 watts and compared to the 160 watts that LG has it doesn't sound that high this is the LG soundbar sounds that bad but the mid and highs doesn't sound <laughs> they are almost not present and the bass that comes from this uh, 5 inch it is very low and you saw how it, it, it is built it moves air even at about a, a feet or so from uh, from the soundbar so I don't recommend it Okay, now that we have listening, we have listened to all these three soundbar, we can definitely say that the JBL bar 2.1 that costs $250 and has 300 watts is the best one. It has deep bass, it has clear sound, even the highs and mids are very present. Second, the $100 soundbar, the Philips bar uh, 5305. Uh, the sound uh, that comes from it it has only 70 watts 40 from the from the from this small 4.5 woofer and 30 from for, from this main to the sound bar the main unit sounds good but not that good as the GBL bar 2.1 probably at half as as good as quality uh, but uh, this was very very weak very weak and the third one and the cheapest is the lg sj2 and as you can hear from the from the video uh it it doesn't have 160 watts the the woofer is good but the main unit of the soundbar doesn't doesn't hear good it is very weak so i cannot recommend it what i can recommend is only the gbl bar 2.1 and not these two but it, if you have to choose between one of these two the 80 dollars from lg or the 100 dollars from philips i will definitely go with the philips one because it has hdma ear port so what is my conclusion after this first comparison between these three soundbars it is very simple don't buy cheap uh, soundbars because it doesn't have the connection that you need or the sound is not that good i definitely recommend the jbl bar 2.1 because at 250 dollars it is a best buy what is your opinion feel free to subscribe our audio tribe youtube channel 
and please hit the like button. Cheers!